Two law enforcers are in federal detention, accused of giving information to drug trafficking organizations. Good evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm Brenda Medina. Local 23's Derek Garcia has been combing through documents and spoke exclusively with the current constable's office about the alleged crimes. Derek, there is a lot to break down here. Good evening, Brenda. Big details indeed. And both of these law enforcers are being held without bond. Former Cameron County Precinct 5 Constables Armando Gonzalez Jr. and Benito de la Cruz Jr. are indicted on extortion and wire fraud charges. Now, federal prosecutors built a case around these two with a cooperating individual that CI paid Gonzalez and de la Cruz to run background checks, quote, in order to advance drug trafficking activities. Now, the CI would then pay them back in either Bass Pro Shop gift cards or Applebee's gift cards or give them cash at the precinct. Now, a federal investigator has learned about this and questioned De La Cruz. According to the indictment, he allegedly lied, and this is why he's also charged with five counts of making false statements to federal officers. Current Cameron County Constable Eddie Solis was in federal court today. We tracked him down in the parking lot where he defended his office. They were employed uh, with the prior administration. Uh, Benito de la Cruz was uh, worked under me for a few months when I later terminated him. Uh, Why did you terminate him? I found some, some discrepancies uh, with the work that he was doing, and that was one of the reasons I terminated him. I can't go into detail what it was, but uh, I did terminate that gentleman. Now, it's important to remember that Solis was not the constable at the time when this was happening, but he wanted to get the story straight when he went on camera. Gonzalez, in fact, is running for Precinct 5 constable seat where he's accused of breaking these federal laws. And Dela Cruz is a captain with the La Feria Police Department that would put in a call to both Cameron County Precinct 3, where Gonzalez is employed as a bailiff, and La Feria to confirm their employment status as they remain in federal custody at this hour on these charges. But for now, reporting in Brownsville, Derek Garcia, Local 23 News. Brenda, back to you.